there was an allegation that you were made aware of the 13 children in St. Joseph's in Kilkenny who were being physically and sexually abused and that you did nothing about it. It was unbearable to think this happened almost under my nose. It was very hard to even to know that some children were horrifically sexually and physically abused during their time in Kilkenny. That was terrible. Being accused in the wrong is terrible. But I really even felt then, I must put this in perspective and I must see it in the context of it's nothing compared to what happened to those young men. Why would Mary Raftery have made that allegation about you? I was called in by the guards and I was asked, did I know? And I said, no. And they said, somebody, I said, why are you asking me? And that somebody said that they told you. And I said, I don't have any recollection. So I suppose in fairness to Mary Raftery, I think she just picked up different things. But I mean, I was... I was there, you see, and I was well known at the time in the 70s, and I was constantly speaking out about injustice and different kinds of injustice. As you were running Kilkenny Social running Services at that service. time, I yes. Was. So you were out around the community and you I were dealing a, with people and you absolutely. knew what was going on. And yes. I was in the media a lot. And then you were told about Brady, who was beating the kids up, physically abusing them. That's right. You see, when the guards asked me, um, did I know about the sexual abuse, I said, no. And, and then I went on to say to them, but, but a, a care worker did tell me about another man who was beating the children. And, and I think they asked me what I do, and I said, I did say that to the person in charge, and the, the, the man, he, he, he left, they got rid of him then. 